obviously need some help with packing. So today, we're gonna go over the top five tips on how to pack for a move. Let's dive in. I'm Jen McBillamy, real estate associate realtor with Yag Pro Realty. And today, I'm here with Kurt. Hi, I'm Kirk Daly from Ferguson Moving and Storage, your local mover here in Edmonton. I am happy to tell you guys about the top five tips of how to pack for moving. Jen, I'm so glad I showed up and I saved you from what you were doing. That was, uh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> so let's start with number one. What's the number one tip for packing for a move? Number one tip, nice strong boxes, corrugated boxes, size two and size four cube. We have one here on all most boxes they have the size there on the bottom two cube four cubes are very good standard boxes to have plus additional tape and additional recycled paper number one tip okay so we're not using cereal boxes <laughs> we're not using cereal boxes cereal boxes you may not fit a lot of your belongings in them so we'll try not to use cereal boxes or a hundred liquor boxes apple boxes are nice Nice yeah, they're nice good boxes to use. So, on to tip number two. Uh, tip number two, uh, fill your boxes right up to the top, right to the brim. Make sure there's uh, as minimal air as you can get in there. That means uh, making a layer on the bottom with the recycled paper, packing in your belongings. So the books would be in the two cube and the teddy bears would be in the four cube. <laughs> And then you'll make another layer on top of your books, maybe add another layer, fill in the sides and just get it right to the rim. So there's a little bit of flexibility in the top because when you have that flexibility in the top, the boxes will cave in and your shipment will avalanche in the truck. Okay, on to tip number three. Uh, tip number three will be don't pack any liquids into your shipment that's going in the truck or into the corrugated boxes. You want to pack your liquids into Rubbermaid, so plastic would be perfect. Nice frog boxes or bungo boxes or there's many other boxes out there or just rubber mades from Walmart, you know? So the movers would probably help you load that into your vehicle for transport or even if you were loading doing, using a U-Haul, maybe keep those in your car and not in the truck so that if the shipment does something happens, it doesn't destroy everything. So not the bleach doesn't get all over your clothes or the vinegar or olive oil doesn't get everywhere or the gasoline or the from the lawnmower or those kind of things, don't end up on stuff that belongs inside your home. And tip number four. Uh, tip number four would be using uh, picture boxes for your picture curtains and for your flat screen TVs. So uh, they're just these maybe four inch wide boxes. They're usually four feet higher. They come in different layers, different sizes. And same concept, you get the paper, you fill the bottom, a nice cushion for your pictures, put your pictures in face to face and you put in more paper in between them so that uh, there's no air in that box, right? The box is nice and firm. So at least why I say put them face to face is because when you put it into the shipment, like into, your, into the truck it's loaded, there's gonna be a load behind it and a load in front of it. So now your picture can get punctured and now it's nice and strong and it uh, won't be breaking on you. And for tip number five. Uh, tip number five, we'll go back to the kitchen. The kitchen is uh, where a lot, of, uh, a lot of the mistakes can be made. So what we like to do is like to individually wrap all of our, our kitchenware, so our cups, all of our uh, the glassware, so plates and bowls, and you, move, and you move them on edge, not flat. Because when you move them flat, there's a lot of vibration in the truck, especially in these Alberta roads where all that vibration is just gonna shatter all your glasses. So last time I moved, I went into my plate cabinet and I just took my stack of plates and I put them in the box. Yeah, you don't, yeah. You don't wanna do that. You wanna individually wrap move. them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you wanna individually wrap them in maybe two or three pieces of crushed paper. Same concept again. You fill the bottom of your, pa of your box with lots of crushed paper, make a nice cushion for it. Then you put the individually stacked ones in there, you make another layer, you fill the sides in. You're putting them in sideways, not flat. Yeah, flat, right like on the record. edge, like mm -hmm. a record, yes. Perfectly, just like a record. And because of that uh, paper, you made a nice case around it and they'll make it safely every time. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna rethink what I'm doing here. Clearly, I needed your help and I just started. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you so much for that. No problem. Also, if you feel ever feel overwhelmed or you need some help or you just don't have the time, we also do full packing, unpacking mm -hmm. services, including the move as well. Where do I sign? Uh, 
fergusonmoving.com. There'll be a little section there right at the top of the page. Put in a little bit of information, click the button, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Awesome. What are other ways that we can reach out to you? Uh, call me directly. My number is 587-414-5845. Uh, email me, Kirk, K-I-R-K, at fergusonmoving.com. Or on Instagram, uh, Daily Moves, D-A-L-E-Y-M-O-V-E-S, on Instagram. I'm pretty accessible. Contact me anytime. And give Kurt a call. He will take care of you 100%. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for these tips. And not only did I learn something, but I hope everybody watching learned something. And we'll see you on the next video. Awesome. Bye.